That's all me. Bone who? Bone. Bone who? Bone who, babe? Who? Are you kidding me? Ever since I saw you, I had double vision. What is good, you guys? It's your girl, Chris, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to start our Cooking with Chris segment. I'm super, super excited. This recipe is inspired by one of my good friends, Ava. I absolutely love her. She's super into fitness. She cooks so well. I mean, this particular rib recipe definitely is a spinoff of something that she um, has given me before. So shout out to you, Ava. Thank you so much for being the inspiration of my first cooking video. I love learning new skills when it comes to cooking. I'm always willing to learn. I love cooking for my family now. And I just know that one day when I have a complete family of my own that the sky is literally going to be the limit. I just, I can't wait. I experiment now so that I'm established later. Before we get into this video, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and share this video with your friends and family. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright you guys, as you can see, I'm just starting off by cleaning up the sink. I want to make sure I start with everything all fresh and ready to go. I'm going to clean off some of my sides, clean off the vegetables, the meat also will be clean and rinse here in just a second.
So I just wanted to jump in here right quick and share with you guys a fun fact. I actually learned how to cut my peppers and onions from Food Network. I believe it was Gordon Ramsay to be specific. Um, basically, the way I just cut the pepper is the way they say that you're supposed to do it in order to lessen the amount of scraps that you have to throw away and use as much of that bell pepper as possible the same thing with the, the onions honestly it keeps everything really super easy and clean um it also helps protect your fingers because of course you don't want to chop any of those off I just wanted to come at you with a quick disclaimer and let you guys know I do not measure when I season. I don't measure when I make my sauces. I rarely ever measure unless I'm making, you know, like some type of cake or something like that where you have to have one. So please don't be mad at me. I kind of let the ancestors tell me when and when not <laughs> to, to continue the season and of course my own personal taste buds. Also, if you are still here during this part of the video, thank you so, so, so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
right you guys so dinner is almost done I'm gonna play everything up here before too long I have some jasmine rice on I know a double starch I know I know I know <laughs> jasmine rice um, let's check up on our ribs oh my goodness where's the tongs at let's look at this you guys stop like stop stop <laughs> I love it. And then we have our potatoes. So um, what ended up happening is I did cook them for the 45 minutes and I felt like they weren't still done, but they actually were. So I had to flip them over and this is how they looked underneath. Um, I lightly dusted them again with the butter, the infused butter that we made earlier. And then we have our green beans, just the first pan. We're waiting for the second pan and the rice, and then we're all good to go, y'all. All right, you guys, we have finally come to the end of the video. Some of our absolute favorite parts is definitely the taste testing part. Um, of course, I have my plate here. Let's just, first of all, let's go ahead and admire the masterpiece, okay? I mean, we have the rice with our peppers and our onions from the ribs. We let that cook in the crock pot, in the crock pot, so we know that that is good stuff. We have our green, our vegetables and our greens up here. Oh my gosh, I definitely had a taste of these Parmesan green beans, and let me tell you guys, wow. And then we have our slow cooked ribs. When I show y'all, it was so hard to get these ribs without them already coming off the bone. When I show you guys how easily this bone comes out, it's going to make you sick. <laughs> and then I have our smashed garlic and herb potatoes. First things first, I need you guys to see the way the meat just... Wow. Wow. Like. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to let that be the very first thing that we dig into. Oh. It's giving me very much like chicken adobo, if you've ever had that, where a lot of times the sauce is more, um, or, or what it's cooked in. It has that sweet flavor, so like the brown sugar and the honey, it really does it. It really does it for me. Our little fancy smashed potatoes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm. It's it's the the rosemary that infused butter on these potatoes. Wow. Then this rice those peppers and onions that have been sitting and this is jasmine rice the best rice out there okay like just just wow wow like <laughs> i'm not afraid to tell myself good job like just as much as i'm not afraid to tell myself that i messed up I should be able to tell myself good job in my personal opinion and I did a great job <laughs> I did a great job these are the green beans oh, the green beans oh my gosh
All right, you guys, so this is the end of our Cooking with Chris segment. Thank you so, so much for those of you who have lasted this long throughout the video, for those of you who have joined me on this lovely little cooking journey. Hopefully you guys were able to take something away from this video. I truly enjoyed making it. I love cooking, I love filming. So for those of you that are supporting me, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This experience is truly humbling me and allowing me to grow a greater love for myself and for the possibility of other talents. So thank you guys for being a part of that. If you guys have any suggestions, if there's anything that you want me to try, if you want me to do something a little bit new or a little bit different, leave those in the comment down below. Don't forget, of course, again, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to tell everybody that your girl Chris is now creating. I'll see y'all next time. So